Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here. Today I have to admit I'm extremely excited about my acquisition of a very, very, very rare piece of equipment. Um, we have here the Strongfoot, the original Lionel Strongfoot dumbbell, as well as um, the German Strongfoot method booklet. Um, these were acquired obviously uh, from Germany. They still exist around here. These are extremely old. This is an original booklet for example, of Lionel Strongfoot, written in German. I may have to um, translate it and have it reproduced in English. I'd like to be able to do that. But this, this is a true piece of history. An original Strongfoot dumbbell. Now, I'm going to explain how these work in a minute. If you're not aware who Lionel Strongfoot was, he basically um, promoted his own method of the light dumbbell system, uh, basically a, a form of weight resistance training as practiced by um, Eugene Sandow who, and many other strongmen, all of whom were taught by Professor Attila. And, um, you know, Eugene Sandow created his own later spring grip dumbbell to um, teach his method of the light dumbbell system. And, and of course, Lionel Strongfoot also came out with his own dumbbell. And it's extremely, I have to admit, it is extremely rare to find a dumbbell in such an excellent condition. I mean, you know, it's just got a little bit of rust. And um, yeah, I'm just amazed at the condition that I found these uh, dumbbells in. Um, I've only seen two ever in, in my life and uh, I was able to acquire these at a very reasonable price. You can clearly see the name is written there, Strongfort. Um, again, Lionel Strongfort used to uh, teach his own method of the light dumbbell system and, and resistance training that is weight resistant using weights of course um, which he called strong fortism or the strong foot method this book as I mentioned is quite old and it goes through his full course in in German with images and all, all sorts of uh, things um, explanations etc uh, very similar again to the Sandow system now I explain how these dumbbells actually work you can see that um, they are made of metal, but they had this um, screw, and you basically unscrew this screw off the end of the dumbbell, and you could fill it. You could fill it, with, for example, with um, with anything really, but eventually you'd want to fill it with lead to make the dumbbells heavier each time. So they're actually hollow on the inside. These are cast from a mold, and um, you could fill them progressively and, and make them progressively heavier so that as you got stronger doing the strong foot method or, or practice strong footism or whatever you want to call it, um, basically light dumbbell system, you could eventually increase the poundage that way and not have to go out and buy new dumbbells. Uh, yeah, that is heavier and heavier dumbbells. You could still use the same old dumbbells but simply add lead shot to it and um, uh, yeah, Basic, basically make it heavier. At least I think it's what you could put in. You, I mean, you could put anything, any kind of metal, really. Um, yeah, I mean, again, I'm really excited to to own these Strongfoot dumbbells. Um, I've only seen one in America in the past, and and then these came up in Germany, so I immediately got them. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say about this stuff, except that I'm again really excited to own this pair. Now the only thing I'd like to say on top is that um, besides Lionel Strongfoot really um, promoting the light dumbbell system, what's so interesting about these dumbbells is that I guess it's one of the very first dumbbells that represent the idea of progressive resistance training. As I mentioned earlier, in the past you had to buy fixed dumbbells, whether they were from Sandow or from anyone else, and they were fixed in their weight. Um, I will talk about the uh, evolution of the dumbbell with time but this is one of you, what you're actually seeing here is one of the very first examples ever of a progressive resistance dumbbell yes it does not have um, the discs that we now use uh, you know nowadays um, actually the very first person to come out with a dumbbell like that was was a, um, a person called Winship or George Winship I believe um, back in the 1800s but it never really took off. Um, only when later, when George F. Jowett and, and Milo 
and the Milo Barbell Company. These companies came out with progressive resistance barbells and, and dumbbells. George Jowett, that is, came out with um with a, a progressive resistance dumbbell. These really did take off later, and then the discs um, were replacing these globe uh, dumbbells and barbells. Um, but it's incredible to see that even back then in the 1800s and in the early 1900s, you had these strong men like Winship and Strongfort coming on with their own versions of um, a dumbbell that could be, you know, just bought for just you just needed one set at home and you could make them progressively heavier by filling them up. So it's really interesting to see how ingenious these men were in, in trying to promote not just trying to promote physical culture, but to, to make it last. The, the, the acquisitions you made, whether they were dumbbells or something else, to make them last. I mean, again, this is a very historic piece, not just because it, it was created um, by Lionel Strongfoot, but it actually represents one of the very first uh, progressive resistance dumbbells. So again, I'm very excited about this acquisition. I hope you've enjoyed this very brief explanation uh, to the Strongfoot dumbbell and his method. Well, I haven't really gone through his method. I've just shown you the book. Um, but I do have Lionel Strongfoot's uh, courses on my website at www.goldenerabookroom.com. So if you're interested in learning more about that, it's very similar to Eugene Sandow's, but obviously slightly different. Uh, each each um, teacher, that is each strongman, be it Lionel Strongfoot, Al Trello, or Eugene Sandow, each taught their own method of the light dumbbell system. All of the systems are valid. All of them are great. They each taught different things. I encourage you to check it out on my website, www.goldenerabookroom.com. And um, yeah, uh, again, if you'd like to support my research, again, you can see what I use, uh, the money that I earn from my, my YouTube channel, my website. You can see how I invested. I do try and find these very rare pieces of equipment, these rare books, um, to further enhance my knowledge and then pass that on to you through my channel and if you want to continue supporting my research please donate via paypal or um, you can become a patron you can, again you can visit my website where i have some of strong thoughts courses www.goldenerabookman.com and courses from many other strongmen and and from old school bodybuilding in general you'll find them all on my website and uh, yeah if you want to get in contact to pass on you know be it equipment books magazines whatever or collaborate please uh, contact me via me via my email golden era bookworm at gmail.com hope you've enjoyed the video and this look at the very rare strong foot dumbbell uh, again this is the golden era bookworm hope you enjoyed the video bye for now